Greetings and salutations, friends. It is I, the King of Yokai, welcoming you back to the Yokai Realm. When last we left off, we were introduced to Naruto and his troublemaking ways. Mizuki got his ass handed to him by a student, which was very embarrassing. And we learned a bit about a fox sealed away inside of him. Naruto, not uh, Mizuki. Before we begin, I would like to say, I do not own Naruto, and if you enjoy today's content, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. As you no doubt noticed in the last episode, we had a bit of an issue with copyright, and so I ended up posting wholesale, but completely muted and almost invisible. To that end, this series shall be done as such. If you wish to listen along to the uh, series, by all means, be sure to play the audio in a tab. There will be a countdown before I press play. With that out of the way, let us get into the meat of the episode. Alright everyone, I am just past the intro. Just got the uh, Skuya, and I am looking at uh, Mount Hokage. We will begin in 3... Two, one. <clears throat> okay, got some drums going. Oh, hey, Dr. Wiley. Naruto's looking pretty pale there. Jeez, uh. Oh, jeez. Naruto looking like the bastard offspring of a mime and a clown. So it was an ID photo of some sort. Yeah, you'll have to take it over. If it doesn't look like you, it doesn't work. Dude, what's wrong with the way you normally look? Dude, you can't expect that to work all the time. It's not gonna work. Okay. Apparently it worked. Go figure. No, no, you're just a pervert. Uh, dude, it's supposed to protect you. It's going to get scratched. Because this isn't an answer. Yeah, I'm sure you're a real threat to the Kokage. Yep, that's about what I expected. Oh, now we have a blind man. Oh, so not blind, he just has weird shades. Okay. Dude, he's just sitting there. Like I said, he's just sitting there. Exactly. So... Doesn't excuse him from being an idiot. Oh, you're gonna get a bruise for that one. Yep. 
Uh, you really shouldn't hit kids over the head. That's generally a bad idea. Okage doesn't seem to care, though. Yeah, this guy's got a bit of an ego on him. Uh, I'm sure you're wrong about a lot of things. Well, he's going to have to... Dude, there's no such thing as a shortcut to greatness. You either soar or you plummet. Man, you are terrible at keeping up with this kid. Ebisu or the kid? That doesn't clear things up. Either your kid is naturally violent or Ebisu is completely incompetent. Okay, just minding his own business, strolling along. Dude, seriously? Your feet are sticking out. I'm trying to keep pace, huh? And that is just terrible. Like, not even an effort was made. Uh, what reputation? As a troublemaker? I just noticed. Where are those things on his shoulders? Oh, it's just on one shoulder. Okay. Well, I guess if you play to his ego. Or Chitora. Do you mean Chakra? Yeah. Chakra, Chi, Ki. They're all interchangeable. He is that. Then again, he is like negative two. <clears throat> And I guess you can breathe fire with it. Oh well, yeah, gotta learn somehow. That's two things, but yeah, working hard is important. Okay. Into what? I assume anything. Yep, Naruto sees pretty girl. Yep, of course. Is it though? Yeah, no. Not even a single thing in there is right. Well, you did just insult her by turning into an ugly version of her. Well, 
Oh, they're not going to hit the Okage's Kieran kid, are they? Dude, he's a child. He was born next year. Dude, just shell out the money for it. Uh, dude, you didn't even try to change your clothes. It's going to be so obvious to you. Well, you deserved it. Because you are corrupting a fetus. Dude, he shouldn't be. Boom, boom, boom. What is boom, boom, boom? No, just, just no. What, you turn into a mouse? And now an old lady. Things you should really stop. Oh. Eliminated is a bit harsh. Oh, sure it's convenient that there's a vending machine out in the middle of nowhere. Is it really cost efficient to wire the power out there though? Or maybe this is some sort of public park. Ah. So you've been feeling trapped in your grandfather's shadow. I mean, dude, you're the first being that's going to be born after the heat death of the universe. No one's going to listen to you. Even if you do beat him. Yep. Yeah, so we're back with the Hokage. Alright. Oh, hey, Ruka. You looking better? Oh, really? Okay, well, at least he did something right. Yeah, everyone kind of hates his guts. <coughs> Why?
How is it positive? Yeah, that's not going so well, is it, buddy? And because no one's allowed to talk about it, everyone just instinctively hates him for no apparent reason because those guys do. So you do. So your kids do. Yeah, exactly. And what have you done about it? Naruto is your responsibility too, just like the rest of the village. And maybe Konohamaru would be a better Hokage. Good luck with that. Virtue, honor, etiquette. Those things don't have anything to do with being a ninja. You're a magical assassin. Dude. God himself is going to die of old age before you're born. Stop. Ugh. I should hope not. Again with the shortcut nonsense. Also, I have to wonder about the uh, physics. Like, how are you not dragging Konohamaru along? The guy's tiny compared to you. Well, that's good. No one's as weak as Mizuki. Is this what you do all day? Just spy on people with your glass ball? <laughs> Again with this. Please tell me it doesn't work. Uh, of course it works. Everyone in this series is so fucking horny. Yep. Really? I mean, he didn't even try to fight him. All he did was turn to a woman. Did you just say Psycho Ninja? Yep, at least one person, which is good. Well, if I just handed it out like candy, it wouldn't mean anything. That's exactly what I've been saying. Good job, Naruto. Actually, some good mentor advice.
Oke. Okay. <coughs> It's gonna be a one side rivalry. This guy's got leaps and bounds on you. That's some nice music. Well, the old man's happy about that. You're still a little culpable for letting Naruto wallow away in absolute hatred. But that's uh, episode two. I will see you in the recap, the uh, cap off.